Hey everyone, so recently I've been working on plans for a new plane that I'm going to design. Uh, it's going to be a twin motor cargo plane. So here's what I have so far. I'm just going to go through uh, my design process and what I've gotten so far and how my idea has changed. So here's the very first designs that I came up with. Uh, this one would have a 70 inch wingspan with a uh, 13 inch cord. Uh, all the control surfaces would be 3 inches wide and then I think the ailerons here were 20 inches a piece and the elevator was like 26 or something but uh, and I'm gonna mount the motors on pods that are gonna hang underneath the and they're just gonna be strapped on with rubber bands just like the fuselage is strapped on to the wing uh, as I was doing that I found that I would have to cut a big spot out for where the or flaps and ailerons could be to have the rubber bands go all the way across the wing onto the other side so, and I didn't want to do that because I wanted it to have pretty big flaps on this plane too so I could fly pretty slowly. And I came up with this idea of actually having a hole in the wing. And you can see it more on this picture. And having the rubber bands go into it and actually hooked onto a wooden dowel that's inside of the uh, pod, not on the outsides. And those rubber bands would stay on the inside and then you just wrap them up through the wing and over it onto the front too. Uh, that would stick out on the front of the pod and then that would hold that in and then you could still have the flap as a full span in the back without interruption so that was my first idea and initially I wanted the tail to have a t-tail design but after a while I abandoned that just because of I didn't think I'd be able to make it strong enough and I really didn't want it to fall off and flight at all so the next thing that I drew up I came up with the idea for the pod and how it would be hooked onto the wing and just what it would look like. So you can see I would have a Park 4AD motor, the same ones that I use on my other planes. And then it's just going to be drilled into the same popsicle stick motor mount thing that I made. And it's going to be uh, hot glued and gorilla glued onto two pieces of the thick uh, green foam board. And then I'll have like an extension that goes through the wing that stays in there permanently for the ESC to connect to the motor and then you can just attach that when you hook on the pod and then also attach it to the ESC which will be in the fuselage and this is also just a design for the wing of what it'll look like so then here's my next design that I came up with and I was thinking about lengthening the wing to make it bigger so this one is a 75 inch wingspan with a with a still 13 inch cord uh, this design was the first one uh, with the 75 inch wingspan and I changed the uh, elevator and the horizontal stabilizer to be underneath the uh, vertical stabilizer so it was not a T-tail anymore. So and I like that better. I just think it'll be stronger and I won't have to worry about uh, making the vertical stabilizer really strong to support all the stuff on the top. So then, and then that has the idea of having the rubber bands go into the wing to hold on the, the motor pods. And then this design is just a wiring diagram that I came up with just to show how I'm, I'll probably have two uh, 2200 milliamp hour batteries and then each going to an ESC and then that'll go to the motor and then I'll have one of the batteries uh, supplying power to the BEC which will power all the servos and stuff so after these designs after I thought about these for a while I just thought it kind of looked too big so I was thinking maybe I would make the fuselage skinnier just to give it more wing area that's actually going to be lifting the plane so this was 8 inches um, up until this point uh, the fuselage was 8 inches wide so I came up with a new design and this is my current design too of uh, having it 7 inches wide and then 75 inches long uh, for the wingspan and uh, the vertical or the horizontal stabilizer is going to be 26 inches long and 9 inches wide and then I also changed it from 13 inches wide on the wing cord to 12 inches just to give it a, a more of a like a long skinnier wing and I think that makes it uh, glide better or something but and then I also drew this just to show how if I crashed hopefully the motors wouldn't be hit because either the front or the wing would hit first and so then this is my main design right now of it you can see the side view it's going to be 50 inches long the fuselage and uh, the horizontal or vertical stabilizer is going to be I think like 10 inches tall it's going to be using t uh, two 10 inch propellers 
And then just recently I just made a bigger picture of it and this also includes the wiring diagram too. So it's, it's all similar. So this is my uh, final design probably and I'll probably begin building this soon as soon as I get all the parts ordered. So thanks a lot for watching this and if you have any comments or suggestions please leave those in the comments below and I will definitely look at those. So thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.